was mighty crowded at Kalagora, but I've got myself a catch here. One is a clicker and the other one is a rider. Now I'm going to ask them some very tough questions. Now, of course, it's the relevant issue of today. Tell me, you know, as a young person, does it boil your blood when your freedom of expression is curbed? No, it does not uh, boil my blood because I'm a pacifist. But I guess everybody should have their own freedom of speech. You tell me, you know, Vishwarupam, Salman Khan, Salman Rushdie, and of course now art is also being un coming under the scanner. What do you have to say about that? Um, I was watching this, uh, I was watching the news a few days back and uh, I saw that one artist himself, a very famous artist from uh, West Bengal, he was for the ban on Salman Rushdie's visit to India. Mm. So, I mean, if artists themselves are going to go for censorship it's not like you're not moving forward are you guys take a look at latest upon uh, the curbing of the freedom of expression that happened in delhi it was trouble in paradise for art lovers as art exhibitions in Bangalore and Delhi were targeted by right-wing activists. Artist Anirudh Sainath's paintings at the Chitrakala Parishad were taken off after the Art Academy received threat calls to remove the three paintings which depicted Hindu gods and goddesses in the nude. The Art Academy immediately downed the shutters on the gallery and only after several protests by the artists was the gallery reopened but with the condition that the three paintings be withdrawn. It seems some individual had some problem with my painting. He had lodged a complaint uh, to the police here in the high ground police station. And this person seems to be from BJP. Here, or like, um, he, he claims to be from BJP. Moving on to the capital, an art exhibition titled The Naked and the Nude found itself amidst controversy when the Durga Vahini, the women's front of the VHP, demanded that the organizers should shut down the exhibition as it was insulting to women. They are saying that we are having a nude show, but you know, they, I guess they don't understand, I, I guess they don't understand art, they have never looked at art, that is the reason they are making an issue out of it, issue out of a non-issue, you know, each artist has looked at the human body differently, you know, so historically it's extremely important show and it's first of its own kind. Uh, in the history of Indian art, that the human body has been um, projected so extensively, there is no depiction of Hindu gods and goddesses in this show. Amidst police protection, the organizers of the exhibition hope to carry on as per schedule, which is slated till the 15th of March. But with incoming threats, the organizers may have to face the heat from right-wing activists. With Sushant Mehta, in New Delhi, this is Lassipriya Sundaram.